Anyway. What's up, everybody? T Overrun. I'm ready to bring the pain for you this week. And Dr. Roto, like always, dig it. Yeah. Are you ready for the ultra contrarian show? Oh, yeah. Pull. Woo! Man, I'm a dog myself, right? So I I I was giving out free lineups the way I always have, the way I've been doing it for over 10 years, giving out free lineups, and this whole year has been really good. Yeah, I might have had a couple lineups out of the two I give every single week. Might have been kind of stinkers, barely scored in a 50-50 cash game. But hey, guess what? I'm giving those out for free. You can get to our subs only Discord, and you can get all of our content, all of our people talking every kind of game theory that you want. Instead, I can't fit all that in on a podcast, even though I do like to talk a lot. <laughs> we all knew that. Let's bring the pain. Oh, yeah. Quarterback. Jared Goff. I mean, I'm playing Goff. I want to go Mayfield, but everybody's right around the same price. And I, I like my guy, Jared Goff. He's definitely going to get it done. He's 6300 on DraftKings. He is priced up on FanDuel. Man, he's 7600 So, you know, you might want to come off of him on there. Maybe you want to go a little cheaper with Baker Mayfield. Because when you get to my Ultra Contrarium lineups, again, if you want to save a couple hundred bucks, move players around, maybe move up, move out, then that's your choice. But I'm giving you a lineup. That you that's gonna win you cash, right? So let's get over to the let's get let's get to the running back, Isaiah Pacheco. Yeah, I might talk Buffalo up and I might say Buffalo's gonna win this game, but the way the Chiefs are running and utilizing Pacheco right now, it, it's why if the Chiefs win this game, it's going to be because of Pacheco. Mark my words. Oh yeah, right? And it's because they're gonna be running it down his throat, and again. Buffalo is thin at defense. Yeah, they put some players in there, but they don't have all their great players like they had it. They didn't have Milano. If they had Milano and they had, you know, Bernard back there, okay, I I get it. I get it. I get it. You know, and, you know, that's not going to help. And if Kansas City starts working Travis Kelsey over the middle and it opens up Pacheco and then they hit Rice with the bomb, then that's going to be that's going to be some problems. But at sixty four hundred on DraftKings, seventy five hundred on Fanduel, I will take that price every day for a guy that I know is getting the ball. The wide receiver, Amon Ross St. Brown. Man, I don't care if he's ninety two hundred on DraftKings. I don't care if he's eighty eight hundred or eighty two hundred on Fanduel. The fact is, is he's going to get the ball. He's most likely going to get the touchdown. And, and Tampa Bay is going to be scored. So that means Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions need to do something they've never did, which is win two playoff games in a decade in the same playoff, right? Like they got to get up. They got to get this. And this is the only way they're going to do it is if they get their superstar receiver the ball. Look for him to get peppered. Everybody knows that, but he's in my lineup. And you know I normally don't pay up like that for a receiver. So, that means say something. Where do you save? You know where I save. Tight end. Hey, Dutton. Ooh, yeah. 3,500 on DraftKings. 5,300. Fanduel. Definitely a great punt. Now, on. Now, you know, you do have Kincaid around some of these areas, too. And if you want to take a flyer and be a little contrarian, yeah, Dalton Knox, right? Because everybody might is going to be looking at Kate Otten in the shootout. Right? He's the cheapest tight end for this. You know, if that could be in a shootout that has the most potential. Look, he could probably go, you know, four targets, three catches, and 40 yards. Maybe he doesn't even get a touchdown. But, hey, if he gets a touchdown and he scores for us and, and we can get him around 15 20%, because, remember, people are going to be going for Kittle. People... Travis Kelsey is actually really, really cheap. So on DraftKings, I think he's six thousand dollars. Like you could throw him in, and and you can definitely do that when you get to my very contrarian lineup. You'll know where you need to go, right? So let's move along to the defense. I like Houston. I'm not gonna lie, and and the reason why is because you get these games from the Ravens, right? Every once in a while, the Ravens will just blow a team out, blow a team out. Just everything goes their way. Their linebackers create a fumble or an interception, and they get a couple touchdowns, and then they just run, 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 run. It's so boring. They do that stuff with the Steelers all the time. It drives me mad, right? And it's it's why the AFC North be all crappy sometimes, man. Little 13 pens and 17, 19 games. Nobody cares about that crap. Take that back to the AFC North, Baltimore. 
I'll be getting beat this week. And I'll be getting blown out to your own stadium. Although I don't, I did pick Baltimore to, to lose this game because I'm on the Houston train for at least one more week. But I feel that Houston is the way to go. If they get it going in the back and Baltimore gets behind, we know Baltimore doesn't like the throw. And if Mark Andrews was in this game, oh, that, that I would have been. That I, I would definitely be swaying Baltimore's way. And it's not saying that likely can't be Mark Andrews. It's just Lamar Jackson feels better with Mark Andrews. He plays better with Mark Andrews. It's a different Jackson with Mark Andrews. And I picked the Ravens and the 49ers to go to the Super Bowl. But they can lose this game. And that's that's the that's the point I'm trying to make is that the Ravens play a slow, sleepy game and they get caught sleeping. Nico Collins, long bomb touchdown. CJ Stroud has nothing to lose as a rookie. He's already overcame any all the odds that anybody stacked against him this year. And yeah, he could go in there and get dismantled by this defense, right? But if he dismantles this defense and he he beats the Baltimore Ravens, I mean that's that puts a black eye on the on the on the Ravens. And Lamar Jackson, you you can't beat a rookie quarterback at your home stadium, but don't forget about the Houston defense. The secondary is solid. I mean, they got one of the best cover quarters, Stingley's, and at the same time, man, Will Anderson's coming up right now. He's starting to put pressure on. They can get it done. Malik Collins down low. Yo, Lamar's going to have to run in this game. Mark mark that down, right? Check it. Oh, yeah. Boom. So, when that happens, Houston, 2,900 on DraftKings, 3,400 on FanDuel. So, Houston's in the middle on DraftKings, and they're seconds to last above Green Bay on FanDuel. So, that means FanDuel is giving them no shot. That gives you money, salary, to spend in other places because you're going to need it. And, you know, DraftKings, you're still in the middle, 2,900. I, I, I don't mind that price at all for a defense. I'm totally in it. And we showed last week, what I said, I said Houston's defense, and guess what happened? 21 points. So, I mean... Just take it from your local IDP guy. Oh, yeah. Woo. Or hero. IDP hero. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So let's get to the very contrarian lineups. Oh, yeah. I'm going to talk a little stuff on my stuff. So my DK lineup put up over 170 points last week. It's 172, actually, over that. Right? Man, I gave out the wor- my worst FanDuel lineup all year long. I think that thing scored like 95 points. It was close to almost scoring, but it was nowhere near. It just it just got bad. It was just a bad game script. I flipped out. I went with uh, Warren on that. And actually, I just did what I did on my DraftKings. I just played the double receivers, you know, and uh, which I did Shakir. And then I did Wicks. So I was doubling that up, you know, and just kind of running that back. Because that just gave me some extra points and everything. And I got the two touchdowns I called for. So that really worked out well for me. So DraftKings, Goff, Pacheco. White, St. Brown, Evans, Shakir, Auten. I don't do this often. Kittle and Texans defense. Now, if you don't want Kittle, you can go down to Dalton Kincaid. Now, if you do feel you want to move off Evans, go down to Godwin, you'll be able to move up from Kittle to Cook. That might help you out. That gives you a little bit. But I'm giving you this lineup. Do I? And, and the reason is, again, this is almost like a showdown slate. So you kind of have to roll with like a double tight end to try to be different because if these guys go off and they score and you save that money and you were able to get, you know, Pacheco, St. Brown, and Evans in, and then the Houston's defense just holds up. We're not looking for deep defensive touchdowns, but we'll take them. We will take them. It, it, you know, this lineup will just ball out, right? Fandle. This Fandle, I didn't like my Fandle lineup last week anyway, man. Screw that lineup. Oh, yeah. But this Fandle lineup, Goff. Pacheco, White, St. Brown, Evans, Shakir, Artin, Cook, Texans. Boom! That's how I do it. That's how I bring the paint. That's how I put lineups out. And that's what I do. I try to get all the coaches, and I ain't scared. Play them. They lose, they lose, they win, they win. You win a million dollars off one of my lineups? I just want you to give me a high five or something like that. And just call out that Dr. Roto is the best site for daily fantasy sports. Oh, yeah. 
Have a great day, everybody. If your team's still in it to win it, good luck to them. And if you got a playoff league and you're trying to win, good luck in that too. Always remember to bring the pain. Trail Dolores. Woo! Got y'all with that one. May the points be with you.